Over the years, since I have been professionally coaching weight loss coaching clients through my proven step-by-step system, the inner self diet, which takes them from their place of struggle to the place of freedom in eight weeks or less. One challenge that I've seen that is common to all of them, and I've had this challenge before too, is they're not counting their wins. Today, I'm going to share something with you about that here on the 11-year anniversary of The JoLynn Braley Show. So officially, welcome back to The JoLynn Braley Show. Today is episode number 585. The topic, let's celebrate the 11-year anniversary of this free weight loss podcast with a critical step you need to succeed with your weight. All right. Welcome back once again to the JoLynn Braley Show. Or if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Today, I want to celebrate the 11-year anniversary of this free weight loss podcast that I launched 11 years ago. And my intention for creating and launching this podcast has been to share the mind-body connection insights information, tips, and mistakes to avoid that you need in order to truly succeed with your weight in a natural way, of course, because I do not in any way advocate crazy, magical pills, shots, whatever, these things that you have no idea what they might do to you and to your health over the years. Who knows? I mean, do you remember that Fen-Fen thing? I think that's the way it's pronounced, Fen-Fen. Everybody was all excited about it at first. And didn't it end up creating holes in the heart? Isn't that what happened? Anyway, whatever it was, it turned out to be really bad. And they had to stop offering it, you know, take it off the market. So I'm all about natural weight loss because it's totally possible. All you have to do to make it simple, to make it struggle-free, to make it work is you've got to change your mind. Change your mind to change your body. You've got to change your mindset. That's 92.8% of your problem right now if you're not able to do the healthy steps that you could be doing to just get the weight off over time. There is nothing that is going to help you drop 20 pounds in 20 days in a healthy, fit way. I realize there's a lot of people out there who don't care about their health. I guess that they don't care how long they're going to live. I don't know. But anyway, I'm only here to help you understand how the mainstream diet industry has failed you all these years. It never helps you with the root of the problem. It never helps you heal why you're eating so much in the first place. And the reasons for why you're eating so much in the first place, that's not fixed by a diet, is it? Because if it was fixed by a food diet, why would you be listening to me right now? I mean, how many healthy eating plans do you already have possession of? All you got to do is do it, right? So what you're missing is the mindset piece. You're missing the healing, the emotional and mental healing that you need within your inside, within your inner self. That's 92.8% of the challenge. And once you unravel that, which 
doesn't have to take that long. I mean, I've had coaching clients tell me that what I do with them is really fast. I was thinking it wasn't fast because, you know, you've got to take action with new steps to unravel your inner programming that's keeping you eating right now, overeating, binge eating, emotional eating, out of control eating. You've got to take action to unravel that. And that takes some time. But I've had clients tell me that eight weeks is really fast to get into the struggle-free zone. The struggle-free zone means that you're able to live a healthy lifestyle without sabotaging yourself. That's what struggle-free means. Struggle-free does not mean that you can just eat, you know, whatever and how much ever and still lose weight. Doesn't work like that. There is no magic fix. There is no magic fix. And there's always a cost. There is always a cost. And it's better to invest in yourself financially to get to the root of this problem than it is to cost yourself your health, your fitness, your longevity. I mean, you can always make more money, but you can't just get back your health that these pills and shots and things destroy. It's it's really scary stuff, in my opinion. I mean, heck. But I, I think I'll do some more podcasts on that coming up. But today, let's stay focused. I need to stay focused on celebrating the 11-year anniversary of my podcast And, oh, before we go on, make sure that you opt in for my free 11 best weight loss tips. You can get those at thejolynbraleyshow.com forward slash 11. www.thejolynbraleyshow.com forward slash 11. You could see in my podcast how to spell my name. I know it's a little bit long to type in, but it's going to be worth it. I'm giving you my top 11 tips to help you holistically lose the weight and you can get them for free. All you need to do is enter your first name and email. Go to thejolynbraleyshow.com forward slash 11. This is something special that I'm doing just for this 11 year anniversary. So I'm going to share with you today this critical step that you desperately need to implement today. In my opinion, this is critical. If you really want to succeed with your weight, what I'm talking about here is counting your wins. If you really want to keep yourself going, get all the way to your goal weight, and I hope that you have the goal of keeping the weight off, in order to keep the weight off, you've got to change your mindset. That's critical. I'll share with you at the end of this podcast, if you'd like help with that, what your first step is. But hopefully you want to lose weight for good and you want to do it in a holistic way. You want to do it naturally. You want to be your best self. You want to look your best. You want to look your best in your jeans. You want to look great. You want to feel great. You want to be strong. You want to be fit and you want to be slim. Not skinny and unhealthy, but slim, slender, your best self, right? So something that almost everybody misses and they don't do is they don't count their wins along the way. And the reason that I'm talking about this today is because this podcast episode is the 11-year anniversary, like I've said several times, of this free weight loss podcast that I launched 11 years ago, the first Thursday of January 2013. Can you imagine if you only counted your wins once a year, kind of like your birthday? Or if you only counted your wins every 10 years? When it comes to weight loss, what most are doing is they only consider themselves winning when they get to the end, when they get to their goal weight. That's it. 
And then a lot of people, what they're doing, and you might be doing this too, is you're pushing yourself, you're white knuckling it. In fact, I did a podcast episode about this before, about white knuckle weight loss. And if you search for white knuckle in my podcast, you can find it. When you white knuckle your weight loss, you're just forcing yourself. It's not struggle free. It's not any fun. You hate it. You hate every single step, but you're pushing yourself to get to that number on the scale, to get to that win. And all the time you're thinking, if I can just get to that win, then I can relax. You, you probably don't use the word win. If I can just get to my goal weight, then I can relax, right? I'm just looking for that number, just looking for that number. And then, oh, great, I got to the number. And then what? Then what happens? Then you go to McDonald's, right? And then the backward slide starts immediately. Well, a big problem with that is everyone who's doing that, they don't have the right mindset along the journey. They're really setting themselves up for failure. But also, when you do have the right mindset, when you do the inner work, when you take that inner journey to get your mind in the right place so that you have a thin thinking brain. Because if your brain is thin, if you're thinking thin, then your behaviors, your eating, your exercise, the way that you do things, they will match your thin brain. When that happens, then your actions will feel normal. The reason that taking healthy, thin weight loss actions don't feel normal is because your thinking is not lined up with it. Your beliefs are not lined up with it. Your head is not lined up with it. Your head is still in the fat place. Your head is still in the food addiction place, in the place where you're not thinking in the way that a naturally slender person would think. And when your head is fat, when your mindset is fat, your behaviors will match and feel normal. All right, does this make any sense? So if your head space is in a fat mode, then it matches emotional eating, binge eating, buying unhealthy foods, giving up, giving in, living an unhealthy lifestyle. That would all feel normal. It would feel easy. When you change your headspace, change your thinking, change your mind, change your mindset, when you change that to get on the thin, healthy path, then what happens is the things that you do, your behaviors change and they feel normal because now the inside and the outside match. Now that doesn't mean that you automatically become thin because that takes time. But doing the things that you need to do to get there feels normal as long as the inside matches. This is what the mainstream diet industry has never given you. This is why you always boomerang back. This is why you've never been able to succeed long term. All right, so with all of that explanation, and I hope that makes sense to you, when you do have the right mindset, you want to be counting your wins regularly all along the way to reinforce your healthy, fit, thin, strong, loving mindset so that it makes it easier and easier to keep going with your healthy lifestyle. All of this works together. So what do I mean about counting your wins? Well, you don't want to just be looking at you only win if you get to your goal weight. No, you need to be finding 
at least three wins a day, at least. And I recommend that you write them down pen on paper. So what are three things that you did right today that were on track with living a healthy lifestyle? You know, did you go for your 30-minute cardio walk? Did you drink all of your plain, regular, clean water? Did you prep your meals? Did you do your inner self mindset homework? Did you let go of emotional baggage that was driving you to eat? You know, what are three things that you did that are in alignment, they're on track with getting to your best weight, your fittest body, looking your best, feeling your best? What are three things that you did today that line up with that? and write them down. But what's most important is you allow yourself to feel the emotion of the accomplishment of these three wins. And then keep that going every day. You'll be amazed how much more motivation, enthusiasm, and excitement you will feel to keep going with your healthy lifestyle. Now, this is all predicated on the fact that, you know, you're working on your mindset, you're working on your inner self, your inner world, so that your inside matches the body you want on the outside. Because like I said before, when you become thin within, then it's easy to do the things that you need to do to get that body that matches. Because then it's all a match. And then your behaviors feel normal. And it's no longer a struggle. Does that make sense? That's the work that I do with my coaching clients. I've been doing it since 2009. And I've never seen it fail. As long as you do the homework. You got to do the homework. You can't just listen to me talk about these things. You have to get in there. You got to get committed. You got to show up for yourself and do the steps. And that is my proven step-by-step system. You work with me personally. It's awesome. It's empowering and my clients love it. One other thing before we go here today, I want to share with you today on this uh, 11 year anniversary of my free weight loss podcast, I want to just share with you the top five episodes of all time, tell you how you can listen to these if you want to. The easiest way to find these is to go to fearlessfatloss.com forward slash blog. And then in the search bar, type in the number of the podcast episode. So for example, the number one most popular episode over these past 11 years is let's get real about your resolution to lose weight. Now that is episode number 378. And that's a Get Real episode. I've been told over and over again that the Get Real episodes are the favorites. So an easy way to find this episode, if you want to hear it, is to go to fearlessfatloss.com forward slash blog. And then in the search bar, type in the number 378 and hit enter. And then it should come up in the list. And then click on that. And then there's a player within that post that accompanies this episode. The number two episode, most popular of these past 11 years, seven secrets to win with your weight in the new year. And that is episode 377. Number three on the list out of the top five of all time, The Really Big Problem Keeping You Stuck in Emotional Eating. That is episode number 199. All right, number four in the top five, Avoid the Undertow to Stop Binge Eating and Lose Weight for Good. That is episode number 166. And then the number five out of the top five most popular episodes over these past 11 years in my free weight loss podcast, The Jolyn Braley Show, the number five 
most popular episode is her urge to binge eat stopped immediately. And that is episode number 370. Now, I got to tell you that that is not usual. That was my client, Sally, but that was her experience. And so that is what that episode is about. That is episode number 370. So I highly suggest that you begin counting your wins daily, that you write them pen on paper, because there is a connection that occurs between your head, hand, and heart when you write pen on paper. You cannot get that connection when you type on a keyboard or talk into your phone or type on your phone or just listen, just listen to my voice. You've got to get out that pen and paper for that full connection with yourself. And remember, you can get my top 11 weight loss tips for holistic mind-body weight loss. Get those for free at thejolynbrayleyshow.com forward slash 11. You're going to love them. If you would love to get into the struggle-free zone, if you'd love to take the inner journey, if it makes sense to you that you need to heal the mental and emotional root of your eating in order to fully break free, if it makes sense that you've been missing this piece because the mainstream diet industry has never given it to you and it's really not supposed to give it to you because the mainstream diet industry Honestly, they don't want you to succeed because if you succeed and you heal this problem, then you're not going to be coming back for more, are you? So if you really want to break free and you really want to stop binge eating, stop emotional eating, if you want to kick yo-yo dieting, if you want to get to your goal weight and maintain it for life, you've got to get the right mindset for this if that's what you want. You've got to heal your mental and emotional ties that are all tied up with your eating. If you want to do this and you want to do it as fast as possible, that's what I do with my coaching clients in the inner self diet. Your first step is to apply for a complimentary weight loss discovery session with me. It's really simple to get started. Go to www.discovery dash session.com, enter your first name and email, press the button, and then on the next page, there'll be a button that you click to open an application, fill out the application, submit that, send it in, you know, press the button when you're done. That's what I mean. And then we'll see if we can get you set up with a time to get on the phone. It's that simple. But this is only for you if you really are serious about breaking free. If you really want to get into the struggle-free zone and you want to look your best, but you don't want to hate every step of the way and you definitely don't want to backslide as soon as you get to your goal weight. If you want to break free, if you want to feel good again, if you want to look good again, if you want to stop the madness then go over to www.discovery-session.com, www.discovery-session.com. Get started now. It's really that simple. Thanks for being here with me today on this 11-year anniversary of the JoLynn Braley Show. I have a lot more podcast episodes to put out and I have a lot of topics written down to talk about a lot more coming up. And also when you get on my email list, which you'll do naturally by signing up for my 11 tips, my free tips at the JoLynnBraleyShow.com forward slash 11, then you'll be on the first to know list when I put out something new because I do have some new things that I am launching this year. And you'll be the first to know about it when you're on my email list. So Lots coming up this year, and I hope that you are going to accomplish everything that you want to this year also. You can do it. There's absolutely no reason that you can't, but you do need the right mindset for it. That's 92.8% of what you've been missing. 
I'm JoLynn Braley, permanent weight loss coach, founder of the Inner Self Diet, the diet that you deeply, desperately, dearly need if you really want to break free and you want to heal your eating and you want to lose weight for good. I wish you your best life living inside of your ideal body, looking your best in your jeans without any apology.